How is and I have fantastic news for any fans of the Digimon World game. So we're actually going to get a port of Digimon World Next Order uh, for PC and Switch. It's coming out actually if you can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, the 22nd of uh, February next year. So it's only a couple of months away and we're going to get it. Um, I'm going to quickly go through what the game is. Uh, the game is actually just like a VPEC style game. It's very different to story for any new fans that got into story or survive. It's very different. It's like a VPEC where you actually you're put into the digital world. You're given a couple of monsters and you raise them. Uh, now the Switch version version PC version they're gonna get apparently from what I've seen there was a leak yesterday I just didn't want to report on it because I wanted to make sure it was concrete but uh, Bandai haven't actually outright said this but the leak kind of said this so I'm gonna just go with it as if it's something you know uh, that is actually gonna happen there's a couple of updates that they're adding to the switch and PC ports uh, what they're going to do is they're actually gonna add a run button they're gonna add an easy mode like a beginner mode um, so this is gonna be huge for the game uh, because obviously a lot of people their issue with Digimon World uh, the, the VPET style games is just how frustrating it can be uh, for raising your monsters especially with next order because right next order has two Digimon you're trying to synchronized to get out of sync it can make your gameplay very very difficult um but yeah they're adding a the beginner mode which will hopefully uh fix some of that stuff uh they're also adding a run button which is massive because the, the world is huge you're going around this massive digital world and the player does i have often found myself from playing the vita version that was out in japan or the ps4 version that came out over here he is very slow when he walks around the world so having a run button is going to be huge it's just like my, my biggest issue like it says just wandering around there um what i do want to say though is i want to quickly go over the website here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna quickly go over uh the game for anyone that's very new to this style of game uh i also have some streams on the on the channel here of the ps4 version that i've been playing uh by the way streams for that game i'm gonna stop doing them until this new version comes out because i'm gonna do a proper review and proper gameplay and stuff on it uh to show it off and talk to new people about it but if you want i've got older like videos and streams and stuff on the channel if you want to check those out but quickly i'm gonna quickly go through the game here and you guys uh just check that out with me Okay, so really quickly, we're on the Bandai website here uh, for Digimon World Next Order. As you can see, we've got a little bit of uh, some backstory into the game. Uh, Digimon World's gone rampant with Machine Digimon, who was the original boss in the original Digimon World. Like I said, this is a sequel to that. It's a direct sequel to that. Uh, we can even see Mameo up here, or as I used to call him back in the day, it was a hero. I was taught that was his name for some reason. We got Hero, and we got a selection of new uh, Digi Digidescent and Digimon coming into the uh, series as well. Uh, so down here, we see the 22nd. Uh, 20 yeah, so we got it on January 27th. January 27, 2017 uh, was when it came to PS4 and the new PC and Switch version are coming on the 22nd of February. Yeah, this is actually going to be huge. I can't wait for this stuff to come out. Um, anyways, we got a little uh, few screenshots here and uh, showing off a few bits of the game. Obviously, the game, if you remember um, when the PS4, PS4 stuff came out, they actually re remade, remade or kind of remastered the whole game. They added in new assets or whatever, new uh, stuff, parts of the environment or whatever. Uh, they added new Digimon and stuff like that. So I'm really, really, really hoping that the uh, uh, switch stuff gets more stuff like this especially as it's coming to new audiences they want to get older fans of the game to come back and try it again i'm hoping they'll add more digimon i think the game actually had 232 digimon which for a world game that is that's absolutely that's amazing uh, you couldn't really do much better than that a lot of my recolors that was one of my biggest flaws uh, biggest issues with the game but uh yeah it's still it's still a fun time it's still a very very fun time you could choose male or female as you couldn't do in the original but you can choose a male or female protagonist in this there was a dub added to it as well if you're not into the uh sub subtitles and stuff like that there is actually a dub uh to the game so we've also got uh take care of the digimon that's your feed and your discipline your training and all that stuff this is the stuff that we would have done in the original digimon world but this game adds some really cool new features uh so obviously we built a town that's obviously the thing we do in world games but this game added this really cool system where you could upgrade the facilities in the town. So uh, let's say you could like, um, I don't know, get, get the farm and you had to upgrade it by getting new uh, characters to join your city. You can do that. But you can also collect materials, so you can get like uh, different types like stone, metal, wood, and uh, water, liquids kind of stuff. They've got the builders over there, trade and stuff, and you can actually improve the the uh, city's facilities 
uh, for your use throughout the game. And it's absolutely it's such a cool system. The other cool thing they done was they added like a, a skill tree. So your tamer has a skill tree you can uh, use to get like better stats. Uh, you can use it to get better commands in battle. You can use it to help your Digimon digivolve further. You can use it. There's so much stuff you can do. There's like cooking in it. You can build a camp. There's so much in this game. Um, I'll probably put some uh, clips on here so you can have a good look at see uh, some of the stuff that I've done. Again, check out the streams and stuff that I've been doing on it and just have a look at those and yeah just see what you think yourselves i am very happy with this news i am so happy I, i'm over the moon um this is obviously one of my favorite digimon games and just the fact that more people are getting to play it i'm just i'm so happy <laughs> it's like um this is one of them games the digimon world games i felt so bad because not many people got to experience it it's like they are going with the story games as like the main they're the mainline games now there, there is not world anymore. Story is the mainline games for Digimon. Uh, so the fact that they they haven't forgotten about world, they're coming back with this. Hopefully, if this sells well, we can get some remakes and remasters of the original as well. Uh, that would actually be that would be awesome. That'd be sick. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think of the game if you have played it. If you haven't, let me know what you're looking for looking forward to about it. Um, do check out streams and stuff that I have on the channel. Future streams. I'm playing some Atmon at the moment over here. I'm also playing some Digimon World 3. And I'm thinking of a third game to try and throw in the rotation. Because I'll be taking this one off. If anyone has any uh, any interest in other games, just let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks very much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate this. I really look forward to this. So uh, yeah, let's see you. Bye-bye.